hey, do you agree when you got to do this for like 50 or 60 numbers, is it appropriate to use software mm -hmm. or our calculators or Microsoft Excel? Absolutely. So that's what we'll do. I'll talk about that next class. You go, I just put these numbers in and let it, I know how to add numbers up. <laughs> Dude, can we let this facilitate that? Yeah, welcome to statistics. That's what we do. We know what to do, but let's let this facilitate that type of mathematics. We know it's giving us an indication of what's going on in the center. The next word is the median. Now, in the word, when I say median, would you think middle? Like in the road where they pushed all the snow? You get your lanes, you get the middle, you get the median in the middle, right? Yeah. Well, I guess it's the middle number, huh? So I'm gonna before we get the middle number of this, I want to give you an exercise here. Ready? I'm gonna give you some numbers. Six. Three, one, two, four. Can anyone see my five numbers right now? I'll get the way so you can see. Everyone see that? Mm -hmm. I want you to find the median of these five numbers. Well, Professor Mester said it's the middle number. So is the answer one? No, people are shaking their heads going, no. What's the first step? Step one is what do you got to do with the numbers? Put them in ascending order. I like how you said that. You could put them in descending order too. But she's right. She, she, she's like, you gotta sort these like lowest to highest first. So let's put a line through this first. Here. Can you write these lowest to highest? Like she said, ascending order. One, there's a two, there's a three, there's a four, and then a what? Six. Now, can you find the middle number? What is it? Oh, there, let's circle it. There's your median. Now I know what you're all thinking. This is an easy process. Yeah, but what if there's an even number of values? So let me do something. No, people know what to do. Let me, let me add a number to this mix, okay? So you get your one, your two, your three, you get your four, your six. I'm just gonna put a 10 in the next mix. Now the median isn't three anymore. So how many total numbers do I have? One, two, three, four, five, six. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna go off to the side, everyone. What's six divided by two? Three. Third. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna count up to the third position. One, two, there it is, the third position. I think I'll put a rectangle on it. And then what's the number right after it? What I'm going to have to do is to find the median, I'm going to have to take the number that's in the third position, I'm going to have to add it to the number in the fourth position, and then I'm going to have to divide by a what? Two. 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 Students know what to do, I love it. I'm going to have to do that. They're like, add these together, divide by two, or in your head you can just do what? Figure out what's in the middle. True. So what's in the middle of a three and a four? So, would you do me a favor? Go find the median of this. Good news, it's already sorted, right? Uh -huh. All right, now would you go find the median in this group? And notice, on purpose, yep, I've got ten numbers. So what's ten divide two? Five. Ten divide two is a? Five. Five. So which two numbers will I have to add together? Five and six. Okay, the number in the fifth position, uh -huh. and I'm going to have to add it to the number in the sixth position. sixth position. Now, if you just want to use this, I know I got them up there. Look, one, two, three, four. There's the number in the fifth position. There's the number in the sixth position. But be careful on the test. I want you to find my error. Oh, I'm going to ace this test. Here's my median. Two plus five divide two. What's my error when I was reading the stem leaf plot incorrectly? What did I do wrong? You didn't read that's that. not the number two. That's not, what was this number? 52. Oh, 52. And then I'm going to add to what? 55 and divide by two and what do y'all get? So the median is 53.5. The mean is 61. It's called the sample mean. Hey, um, if you're curious, what's the symbol of the population mean? I'm going to get used to these symbols, but I'd like to show it to you now. What if this was a population and you had to get a mean? The symbol is a Greek symbol and it's mu. So can I just write that over here, everyone? Just, just for your notes, because you'll see it throughout our course. You go, what's the symbol for a measurement of a population mean? You know, populations can be in the millions, right? Well, the symbol is the Greek letter mu. It's pronounced mu. <laughs> okay? Just so you can get used to that. I just put that off to the side. Um, two more things. We're out of here. It's going to take a minute.
the word mode. Mode. When you hear the word mode, I want you to think the number that occurs the most. So ML, ML, which number occurs the most? So go in here, everyone. What occurred the most out of 43. all those numbers? 43. The 43. How many times did 43 happen? Twice. So our mode is the 43. Is it possible that you would have no mode? Yeah. yeah. Or could you have a tie for a mode? Sure. Yeah, hey, I'm gonna test. I'll make sure there's a mode. <laughs> so double check when you go, wait, I didn't find a mode. Go look back at the table again. Cool. Hey, uh, right before you leave, I just wanted to say this. Two measurements of the middle. Okay? When your data is bell-shaped, it's more appropriate to report the mean for the center. Okay? When your data is bell-shaped. But if your data is skewed, like skewed to the left or skewed to the right, what's a better indication of the middle? The mean. So I got that? So if your data is skewed, it's better to report the what? The median. If your data is bell shaped, it's better to report the mean. Do you want to know why? What can happen with skewed data? Let's say I'm doing values of homes. And I got a lot of homes that are like 100,000 or 200,000, 300,000. But then there's a guy a couple streets down, everyone, his property is worth $32 million. What, what can that one number do to all the other numbers? In terms of calculating the mean, if I get to add things up, it can what? Yeah, I can really throw it off. I'll talk more about that next class. Cool? Awesome. Hey, great job, everyone. Thank we'll you. start there again next class in 3.1. Calculus is more analytical.